Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah and welcome back to yet another video, this time on Red Dead 2. It's a beautiful day today. Um, very nice, very cold, temperature's getting better. Very happy about it, very excited about it. Let's check out the game. <laughs> That's enough for the small talk. So we are on the Z1 Extreme and we are running with 30, uh, 32 gigs of RAM as you can see right there. Um, and it is 24 gigs usable because we're sharing 8 gigs with the graphic card. And yeah, let's take a look and let's see how this actually performs on Red Dead Redemption 1. The the new part that actually is old. Yeah, I never played that one part. So we're going to take a look. It's going to be uh, it's going to be an interesting one for sure. So now we are back in the game and I was testing it last time. <laughs> A little bit on the device so some settings might be a bit different here but let's uh, let's take a look so we're going to be testing this with um there we go so we're going to be testing this with ultra settings okay 1080p ultra settings you can see just ultra preset whatever it comes with all right it's essentially just maxed out settings in the game and we're going to take a look and this is the result of running this game at ultra settings. Now, I will kind of tell you about this, that, um, by the way, I hope it looks okay. It looks a little bit different than the camera compared to how it looks, but it looks really nice, okay? It does look really nice, but it's an older game, but still, it's running at 42 FPS, and I was not impressed when I saw that. And I was wondering, okay, what can we do to kind of improve that? Like, that's not a lot, right? 40, 40 FPS, 41 FPS. Uh, we are running at 25 watts, as you can see here. And also you can read over here. Um, and what can we do? Now, you can technically use FSR. But I'll tell you what the culprit is for that 40 FPS. But yeah, you can technically use F FSR. And let's take a look. We use quality. That does help, you know, a little bit. Like from 40 something, we're like kind of in a VR range. It feels significantly smoother, honestly, just because of the VR. Uh, we went from like 40 to like 50, which is quite a quite a decent improvement. Like around you know, 20%-ish, and uh, balanced, uh, we, I think we can see improvement, because we were like 51-ish, no, we don't see anything, uh, in fact, our GPU is not even hitting 100% anymore, it's at 90%, so it's kind of waiting for the CPU, or something else is going on, uh, because we are on a mobile GPU, and it could be bandwidth limited, because I know this thing runs at 128-bit, and even at performance, it doesn't make a difference, because it just doesn't matter, we're just lowering our GPUs essentially. So what can we do? Now the culprit for that low FPS is essentially shadow quality at ultra. If you were to reduce this to high, okay, it doesn't make a difference, okay. <laughs> it didn't make a big difference, but if you keep it at high, right? We were running at what? Let's let's kind of revert this. Let's go back to uh, native, right? And have it at ultra. So we're running at around 42 FPS, right? looking this direction, like 41, 42, right? And if you were to turn down the shadows to high, look at that jump, literally got 10 FPS by just dropping the shadows to high, you know? Huge difference, huge difference. And we're going to try some FSR on top of that, right? So we can try some quality FSR on top of this. And it doesn't really improve our FPS at all. We're already kind of hitting the, the limit almost. You can see our GPU is just chilling. So 73% using the GPU. Uh, so are we CPU bound? Like what's going on, right? And I'm not honestly sure either because uh, usually you can turn on something like CPU boost and you'll see the CPU is sitting at like 3200 megahertz. The CPU boost, it might boost up a little bit. It went to 30, 4300, right? And it does give you like one or two FPS right? But it's not like a huge difference. And you can technically up the wattage as well to 30, which does make your device significantly hotter. So it went from 58 to 59. It's it's nothing. It's literally no improvement. Now, like I said, it could be a bandwidth issue. Uh, bandwidth uh, issue. <laughs> but yeah, without it, you can see it's just 56. Without CP boost, without being in 30 watts, it's at 25 watts. So this is significantly better, obviously. And yeah. Again, what if you go to high? It's a much bigger jump at high settings. 
on 900p and the game looks really good it, it genuinely looks really good you know uh you're gonna be able to play this just fine you can see i'm not actually doing much movement here i'm basically just trying to show you different settings and different fps uh, and this area does seem more intensive than whatever the starting, the absolute starting area was in this game. Um, so, yeah, this is kind of like you've, you've even locked the open world and stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty nice. That's very good, you know. FPS-wise, the game runs really well. It plays really well. Uh, uh, oops. <laughs> so, uh, also, I've noticed this one cool little bug here. <laughs> Every time you adjust the volume knob, the guy just, like, <laughs> goes crazy. <laughs> so hey that's a, that's a, that's a little funny thing yeah okay so uh I'm just gonna go back to uh 16 there so that was you know 900p i would i would honestly recommend high settings if you really want to do it don't go ultra it will it, it just it does not look that much different let's try like like 720p just for the sake of it let's actually try um uh medium settings on you know 900p and that does give you a pretty big difference we're at 70s almost 80s now uh and like i said honestly like at least on this screen i can't really tell a difference <laughs> uh <laughs> maybe on a bigger screen you can actually see a difference but yeah and low settings you can play at and 90 plus, i mean 80 plus fps sorry but it does look kind of bad you can see in the distance like everything looks kind of like flickery and stuff because it's using fxa it's not using FSR anymore, so that is a bummer. Uh, but you can obviously manually select it, which will probably make your FPS go down. Not, uh, no, that's quite a bit. Yeah, it doesn't make your FPS go down quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you can even utilize FSR if you really want, like as in quality. Because honestly, quality still looks better than, than FXA. And it runs so much better. It runs so much like better. This game looks much nicer, by the way. Like it looks very, very clean, the visuals and stuff compared to the modern games that we have these days. So honestly, that is that is uh, just very nice to see. Um, yeah, and and basically that's more or less it. We can go to like 720p now. Uh, I think if you adjust that, it doesn't adjust the resolution. That's why that's what kind of throws me off. Okay, so. Go to 720p ultra, same story, 50 some FPS, you know, and if you just reduce the shadow quality to high, you see a decent increase. I actually don't see that huge of an increase this time around, so it might just be, you know, better to play this at high and at, at 720p. So, you know, that's cool and all, you can play this game, it's an old game, yada yada, you know, very nice, you know, makes sense, right? But what about actually want to, like, if you want to play this on maybe, uh handheld mode not just connected to a power supply at 25 watts which drains your battery super fast right which i would like to cover more in the future too with most games and not just show you the absolute limits of the Rogi. but yeah, i call this thing Rogi, by the way it's the nickname for this <laughs> so what i would say you can do is um we're gonna essentially unplug this okay and bam okay fps went down because i was actually running it at 10 watts yes 10 watts i really wanted to see how much can you actually squeeze out of this tiny device if you were to play in handheld mode? And for this, we're actually going to use the built-in overlay as well. So you can sort of get this. There we go. And you can sort of see, I don't know if you can see here, I might actually zoom in in video editing, but it's around at 16, 17 watts, you know? So it's essentially using 17 watts uh, while we're playing this at 10 watts total, right? 10 watts total TDP, right? Uh, which I would say is actually pretty good, the fact you can do that. And I would actually recommend playing like this for battery life. If you want like that really good battery life, you can maybe play it at medium if you still want to balance the graphics and performance because this is not bad. You can actually even cap it at 30 in the settings uh, and it works well. But it does feel like a lot of latency mainly because, you know, uh, we are at 30 FPS as opposed to 60 FPS. So it just doesn't feel that smooth. I can, okay, I'm going to try capping it, by the way, just to see. But yeah, we have VSync on as well. Maybe that'll help too, because we're essentially out of the VRR window now. You can see the temps are chilling, the fans. I don't know if you could hear the fans before, but I could hear them a lot, and they're just, they're just chilling. There's nothing, nothing going on with the fans. And you can basically play this if you divide 40, 40, uh, if you divide 40 by 16, or 17, I would say, that take the higher number. You can essentially get the total amount of time you'll get in hours. Because it's a 40 hour battery, 40 watt hour battery in this thing. 
and you're using essentially 16 watt per hour. Um, 16 watt an hour, uh, that's the basically what's consuming out of that battery, right? So you would expect around maybe two and a half hours, a little bit less, I think, uh, but around two and a half hours, I think, or two hours, 20 minutes from this kind of setup, playing this at 30 FPS. But hey, what if I want to play an old game not at 30 FPS? I actually want a higher refresh rate uh, experience. Maybe I want a 160 FPS. Well, maybe I can even, uh, you know, expect or try low settings. And that actually runs pretty well. 50 FPS, significantly better. Feels significantly better because, you know, there's no delay, no latency, as opposed to what you were getting before. But, you know, realistically, maybe you want to play this at 12. Now, if I were to make it 12, it's going to push it to 15, which RGL always does that. And it's going to take, like, I think, like, two, three minutes to, like, drop it down to 12. So let's just look at 15, right? Or actually, you know what? Let's just wait. <laughs> let's just have this long, awkward silence where you and I wait together. <laughs> uh, it's made. Oh, we're at 12 watts now. There we go. Okay. So we get almost 60. So like, you know, and you can see here, we're actually 20 watts. So you get around, you can actually get two hours out of this because it's 19 watt hour. It's using 19 watts. So if you want, you can play at 10 watts at low settings. Uh, and you'll get around two and a half, or you can play this at 12 watts and you'll get around two hours of battery life. Uh, assuming you have 100% battery, he battery health, of course. So, But this is this is pretty awesome. Honestly, this is very nice. And um, like I said, you can completely enjoy the game like this in a handheld mode. Uh, and, you know, I can, I can just pick it up and start playing this, you know. And uh, I have the, the autofocus set to like, well, not autofocus. So that's why you're not going to be able to see that. But this is, this is unlock it for a second. But, you know. I can just like show you guys like this, you know. Yeah, it's it's a bit blurred, isn't it? Okay. You know, it it looks great, honestly. It's 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 such a such a nice experience at this uh, FPS and stuff. But you can sort you can tell the stutters, like it is not, <laughs> it's not the smoothest. It is definitely stuttering a lot here and there. Uh, so because we are power starving it so much. Um, but if you lock if you were to like like lock the FPS to thirty, it would probably be better. And 15 watts is pretty nice. 15 watts seems to just, it just handles it like a champ. I mean, we're running, we're running at like 60, sometimes even 80, but yeah. So it's pretty nice. It is very nice. I'm just going to try to put this back in place, hopefully, so you guys can still see it. Okay, cool. It's very nice. And uh, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and um, this was Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption 1. I can't, I just can't say words, man. I can't. <laughs> but, um, uh, honestly, I'm going to try this game out. And I'm going to be testing a few more games as well very soon. So let me know what you guys uh, would like me to test next. Uh, and yeah, I mean, you don't really need 32 gigs of uh, RAM for this one. I mean, it's not even using one gig on the on the uh, VRAM, as you can see. I mean, it's 1.3 in total, but yeah. And yeah, so requirements-wise, I mean, come on. Like, this is an older game, of course. But honestly, it looks really nice for, for an old game. Uh, yeah, that's... It plays really well too. I'm I'm kind of impressed actually. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please uh, leave a like and um, subscribe if you would like to see more such content. And uh, you know, support me on my Patreon if you like to support me. And yeah, appreciate it a lot. See you guys in the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. What? Didn't didn't he hit me? He said you can't see me. what. I, you, he said you cannot see me, but he hit me. <laughs> What's going on, man? <laughs> All right. <laughs>